All right, we are back in our familiar environment. Let's see, how do we do this again? You break down, reverse. Okay. What is up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video, guys. So we are currently inside of an E92 M3. No, this is not ours, but I want to kind of do a comparison. So Chris, as you guys know, he's been on the channel multiple times. He actually picked up another car with the B58 in it, and we're going to compare to see which car, quote unquote, is better. So as you guys know, he owned this E92 M3, right? But then he recently picked up this 540i this car has a b58 in it which is absolutely crazy so the cool thing is it actually came with some mods that i'm gonna let him explain but the best thing about this car even though it is big you guys can kind of see like the the size comparison against the the e92 m3 compared to this car like this car is very long it's like almost like a boat but it ha again it has a b58 in it so i think that's uh well i know that's why he got it but it's also crazy like we Two completely different cars. definitely gotta go for a ride so as you guys know, B58s are pretty much kind of like the modern day 2J. I actually, I saw that. I'm not going to take credit for that. I saw that online and I pretty much agree with it, right? Like the B58 is going to be, if not already, a legendary engine. Like the amount of mods that you can do to that car to the amount of horsepower you can get out of it is insane, bro. Downpipe tune and you're already up there six, seven hundred, something like that, right? Don't quote me on it, but it's insane compared to like older engine or even even other engines that require extra work. What I didn't know is, uh, obviously there's multiple uh, vehicles that BMW makes that comes with the B58. What I didn't know is what he kind of informed me on, I guess it's the 40i's, right? What? So like the, the 40i's are the ones that come with the B58. It's so like a 240i, 340i, 440i, 540i, and then even like the, the SUVs. Let me see if I can find it. Nope, I'll let him do it. But just, just in case you guys don't believe that there's a B58 in here, we're gonna show you. Oh, just you just pull it up. <laughs> Shoot. Here it is. That's crazy, right? So obviously it's not stock. Obviously there's no huge factory airbox here. Yeah, so it's uh this is where like the it's covered would probably go. for heat reasonings. Just a quick rundown on the motor. The motor is fully stock, has stock turbo, has the supra high pressure fuel pump, has an intake, and that's it. That's all it got. So it got flex fuel. And that's all pretty much it is. Everybody knows what B58s are capable of with the stock turbo. You pretty much this setup is 500 horsepower. That's crazy too because like he's gonna eventually like do the turbo and it already comes with flex fuel. Yeah, I don't have to do much. So, so. literally it's, 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 it's like it came plug and play. That makes any sense, right? Like just put a turbo in it and then like to the moon you go. Yeah, so basically I bought this car because it came with stuff that saved me money. But who cares about money? Money comes and goes. It's really about time because Installing yeah, that, that sure. downpipe that it already has, installing the analyzer, tuning it, and all that stuff it already came with everything. I didn't have to pay for no tuning license, no transmission tune license. It came with everything. So it saves me a lot of time. That's why I paid a little bit out of my budget for what I wanted to pay for this car, but I was perfectly fine with it because it came with what it came with. And yeah. the condition it is, it is. Yeah, I know. It's actually in really good condition. One of the things that I love about this car that I guess this specific one that he bought is the fact that it came with the downpipe already installed guys that saves time and money like if you work on your own cars and you know that like that potentially could be like one of the most difficult things to do right because it's a downpipe right like the bolts get hot um, sometimes they seize they break and then you gotta sit there and like and freaking spray like PP blaster on it right to loosen the bolts like if you know you know we've been there multiple times so the fact that this car came with the downpipe is, it, like I said, it saves time and money, so that's dope. But it also came with an exhaust, right? Yeah, what was no, it? No, no, it's not. It's just a muffler. Oh, it's just a muffler delete. It's a muffler delete. Yeah. Sounds good because it's a B58. Yeah. Um, there's really not much I need to do. Like I told Robert before I even bought the car, the plan was to just go big turbo and upgrade the, the fuel pump. That's all you need to do, and you're already pushing like 650 ish. You could go higher, you could go lower. I'll probably stay low 600s just to be safe. I don't want to have to build a motor 
And it's not really the motor that can't handle it, it's the transmission. Everybody that has a B B58 knows these transmissions around 700, you're on a ticking bomb. <laughs> yeah, so man. And I think you, you also forgot to mention that it's on springs too, right? Oh yeah, it's on so H&R it lowering <laughs> springs. So another thing after I, I actually watched the video after finding out that I was lowered. And thank God I bought it with the ready lowering springs, bro. Why? Because it's difficult? It's difficult. You have to take out the whole speaker thing in the rear. Oh, shoot. You have to take out the seat belts. So you got to take the seats off seats and all off. that. Yeah, so once I seen that, I was like, even if I bought one, I'd probably just pay someone. Because now we both know we worked on cars here and there. Oh, yeah. It's, there's stuff that is just not worth the time and money. Yeah. Because you know? even, even we did that car recently, right? And I'm, I'm not saying it was the hardest thing in the world, but like... As easy. It wasn't as easy yeah. as the, the previous cars that we yeah, done. Yeah, so it, I mean, it already came with lowering springs. Like I said, it all goes back to time and money. Well, not really money. It's just the time that it takes. It'll probably take us a full day just to change lowering springs. Yeah. And it's only lowering springs. It's not like coils or yeah, anything. Yeah, exactly. So it came with that. Um, as you guys could see, it came with some type of front lip-ish half thing. <laughs> um, it's supposed to be a full connecting lip under, but it looks like it has... I don't even know what to call them. They're, um, they're cup spoilers. Cup spoilers, cup spoilers. like spoilers. ST. Yeah, you, yeah. You probably got some ST people in there, so yeah. we'll call them cup spoilers, but every car is different. I don't know. The M3 even has them, but I think they call them... I mean, the E92 has you remember? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Raj has it. I don't uh, know what they call them. Raj, if, you're, if like, you're watching this video, what, what are they called? Uh, canards? I think no. you said they're canards. Or... I don't know what they are. Let's call them fucking things. Yeah, I yeah, know. yeah. I, I, I forgot what they call them, yeah. Yeah, so... Like I said, it all goes back to the condition of the car it came in. It already came with uh, Icon headlights. Um, already came with the M Sport package. I don't know if too many people are going to be familiar with the 5 Series. I know a lot of people will be so. familiar with the 3 Series. Yeah. Which I didn't want, guys. I didn't want a 3 Series car. Just I feel like the 5 Series is a better bang for your buck. Just what you're getting, luxury uh, and fast at the same time. I don't. I, re I really don't feel the 3 Series is that luxury, even though it's a BMW. It's it's just you're just getting a plane yeah you're with you're buying a motor with the yeah. the 340 i for sure i didn't honestly i knew nothing of this car until you got it yeah then when you got it then it was like okay like this car is attractive right yeah, like it, no, it, it, it definitely it's like the full it, package it won't like break someone's neck but it's like yeah. a quick head turn like oh dude, look that's a clean car yeah and no that's I, all i wanted i wanted something because in all reality it's supposed to be my daily yeah that's not daily bull at all it's not comfortable it's not that's straight terrible on everything. Gas. terrible on gas <laughs> it's just not available at all yeah this one on the other hand is super comfortable and fast when i need to yeah drop the gear but other than that um let me show them the interior it's almost like a ctsv uh, in the sense of having like the best BMW of both worlds exactly yeah. uh came with some i don't know what uh number there is maybe i think they're I don't think they're the triple six M wheels. There's some type of forge upgrade for the five series only. Yeah. So it came with forge wheels. Makes it look better, of course. So also has the uh, the M M1 yeah, wheel too. So, uh, Very nice. There's for like stock a five, he told me it's like a five thousand dollar upgrade. Yeah, that's option. crazy. I was like, I wouldn't pay for it. Yeah, that's that's actually. I'd cool. buy TVs before I buy that. So as you guys can tell, this interior is pretty clean. It's I. The main reason why I wanted this car specifically is because one, it was white, it has the Alpine white with a brown interior, which is not very common. It's usually black or you guys guessed it, red. Yeah, red is yeah. super popular it's and it's probably, don't get me wrong, red is obviously my favorite color, but with the red interior, it's definitely played out. It's yeah. something that I don't even, Yeah, no, I, I used agree. to want it as a kid, now I don't want it no yeah, more. It's, it's like it one is. of those things, it's like, it's almost coming, becoming a thing that's, goes under the category as rice yeah <laughs> yeah yeah you know, even, like, even like honda yeah nothing wrong I mean, yeah it's, it's clean just... it's clean like it's very sporty red is very sporty yeah that's why everybody like nismo type r's they add red everywhere because yeah. that's like the sporty color right exactly so calibers all you know yeah stuff. everything like the badges are red just like the st sts the st badges red yeah all stuff like that but came with diamond stitching these seats are super comfortable guys they i are, drove like i don't even know if i told them but i bought this car in la guys so i drove this from socal all the way to norcal on e40 i was telling robert i got from socal to norcal on e40 on a full tank just because it's such a big car it has a big tank so i couldn't i had no complaints doing that at all yeah it's amazing not having to stop too yeah sure. i mean i stopped still to get e because other people had to stop for gas so why not fill back up it's on mhd tune so that's how i'm able to control the e40 mix and stuff like that figure out uh what tune i'm on it has like three different maps e40 e90 e91 uh, <laughs> e40 91 and i forgot what probably, it's, probably, it's probably lobus yeah, maybe it's probably, it has to be lobus maybe? I 
Actually, when I filled up at Arco before leaving your place with Jose, yeah. I changed, I was messing with the maps on accident because I was trying to reset the miles. And yeah. I guess that's how you... Yeah, and it, the, the RPMs. RPMs started, yeah. I was like, and then when I did, I was like, damn. And I just got E. So yeah. I'm like, damn, what map was I on? Dang, that's the so worst, I, I, bro. Yeah, so I, I, I messaged the, the previous owner just to verify before because... Imagine I put it on a 91 map yeah. and I'm running E40. I don't think that's... Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I've done that multiple times in SC where I was on E, yeah. E40. And then it... Because for well, whatever reason... Well, the cars have knock it, sensors. So yeah. You it know, kind of probably adjusts, but still, it's like... You don't want to mess. Yeah, up. exactly. But for whatever reason, sometimes, at least on my car, I noticed that it reset it. Sometimes yeah. it does, yeah. not all the time. So. Yeah, I don't even want to yeah. uh, mess with it or anything because then I'm like, oh, I don't know what. Because I, it's not the tune that I got from somebody. It's not. A, it's. I know it's still off the shelf tune from MHD. So it's their off the shelf stage two plus uh, tune. So yeah, like yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't. You know, it starts getting confusing. Yeah. Like I haven't. I don't even want to mess with it because I know I'm just going to go big turbo and put a bigger exactly. fuel pump and get my own tune and get it how I want it to be tuned. Yeah. So, but from there, I'm leaving it how it is. It runs good. Um, as you guys know, with B58s, you guys can't really idle the car too long because the PCV has an issue with the B58 Gen 1s. I know Gen that. 2s, they, I guess they, I think they fixed it. Gen 3s, I heard, are trash now. They actually discontinued it in the 2024 models. Yeah. What, well, the, the idle thingy? B58. I didn't know that. Yeah, so 2024 240i's no longer have a B58. I just heard that. Dang. Don't quote me on that. And it's because the Gen 3's are trash. Wait, wait, wait. So again, what's wrong with the? It's because of the idle. Well, the idle. The, the, what's wrong with the Gen 1 is the PCV. Uh huh. And then uh, Gen 2 is like the best. There's nothing wrong. I don't know. Yeah, Gen there. Gen 3. Gen 3 something with some cylinder deactivation. I don't even know to be honest. Dang. I was reading on the forums on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reading. And I was like, oh, it sucks. Dang, that does kind of so, suck. So, in all reality, this is a 2018 540i. Um, it has B58 Gen 1. Anything after 2020 is Gen 2. Anything after 23 or 24 is Gen 3. I'm not too sure. Yeah. But regardless, mine is a Gen 1. It comes with uh, problems that, you know, every car has one, some things yeah. that you have to fix that are known issues. Like that car, the E92 rod bearings, everybody throttle actuators. Yeah, it's always something. Everybody knows that. This one is some PCV. I haven't try to fix the issue i just haven't been idling it for long because then you get white smoke just because something is failing within the pcv um so i think an oil cash can helps it i'm not too sure like i said once i do the big turbo and the bigger fuel pump i'll do that because then that's when you really need to do it because you're pushing yeah. bigger power yeah 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 it also comes with a uh a digital dash too i don't know yeah, if you guys so uh, let me start it for you see guys that. or pretty cool yeah. let's get in let's get in I don't even have a key, so I'm gonna grab it. Let's see, put this seat back. Oh wait, that's that's actually messing with that little thing underneath there. How do we, there we go. All right. And you get memory memory yeah. seat buttons on the passenger. That's, that's luxury. So one, two, three. <laughs> I was gonna say the B word, but let's keep it PG. <laughs> but uh, hopefully, hopefully someone don't watch that. <laughs> um, Straight luxury. So it's as luxury as it gets. Um, obviously, it's stairwell well move. There's like one thing I wanted that this car didn't have, and that goes back to just because it's my daily. I wanted adaptive cruise control. But wait, before before you start uh, with that, bro. Well, first tell them how much they how much the dealership wants if you add it or whatever. Like at, add like it to the, a car that doesn't have it. Yeah. Um, I think it's like eighteen hundred ish. And you and you, if you think about it, that's really cheap for something that extremely has tri extremely a lot cheap. of coding and exactly. AI and all that stuff that goes on with it. I'm like, okay, so maybe they just add the sensor because we were looking at the windshield and the windshield already has the it has the cameras, the cameras dog. Oh, hold on, let me show you guys because you got you got you got it. Literally has the cameras, bro. Right. Look, they're yeah. right there. It's it has right there. a camera, so the only difference that this doesn't, the only thing that this doesn't have that this is the reason why I don't have adaptive cruise control is the big sensor that all those new cars have that it's goes the right freaking in the middle. Sensor, bro. So maybe that's what's eighteen hundred, and then they got to code it in, probably. Exactly. Well, I and mean, the what what is the camera for if it doesn't have adaptive cruise control? Rain. <laughs> but, I mean, I guess I guess that is a good argument, yeah. but like it literally has the two cameras that adaptive but, cruise wait, control well, would why have. Why do you need two for rain, right? Yeah, that's that's crazy man that's actually crazy so you can literally like buy a kit yeah so. and then you just put what the button like right there yeah there it's it. yeah and i'm pretty sure if you pop that off there's like a little yeah. plug and play or whatever the case is 
Yeah, so later on, I don't I, like I told Rob, I don't even want to touch the car cosmetically. I just want to focus on that big turbo and the fuel pump, which I'll eventually get. I got a lot of trips coming up, so yeah. it's a little on the back burner a little bit. I just wanted to get the car now that I got the car. I love the car totally. Um, I eventually want to change this win uh, windshield. <laughs> I eventually want to change the steering wheel to uh, a 2024 or just a, something with a flat bottom. Mm -hmm. It doesn't it doesn't feel too sporty with just a regular steering wheel. It's not an ugly steering wheel. It's not. It's just boring. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And same thing. The paddles don't feel like those. Like these feel. Clicky. Yeah, these feel like bushy. Yeah, like grandpa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know how to explain it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But ha this car has everything other than that adaptive cruise control. It's all optioned out. Like as you can see by the interior, it has a wireless CarPlay, previous owner already coded full screen uh, CarPlay, which is a big. Oh, he coded that. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice. I you had to code it. I, I know guess. that's a big thing. I know what Beamer. Is. I I know you could just buy Beamer code and they'll, they'll do it for you. Yeah. I guess Beamer code has a lot of different things that you could do. But as you can see, it has ambient lighting. Which I've never had a car with that from factory. It, and basically, it's the, the lighting right here. Yeah, so it has so. it all the way around. Yeah, even in the back too. It has upgraded, okay. the upgraded sound system, everything, guys. Like it's something that you want in a daily, and it's fast. So yeah, fast and luxury is all I wanted. Yeah, this is literally like the full package. I don't see yeah, like there's not other yeah, than adaptive cruise control, and that's yeah. just not that's not really a necessity. I'm just I just want it just so yeah. I can drive without driving. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy because uh. These are, bro, nobody knows about these cars. And yeah. bro, like, it's literally like the best of both worlds. And yeah. the three, because like I said, it goes back to the three, four. You're just buying yeah. the motor. You're literally like, buying the motor. But with this car, you're buying like, like everything. It's not just the motor. Yeah. I, if the word ever gets out, I'm putting it, I'm putting it out there right now. If the word ever gets out that this car has a b58 plus you get like all these luxury features know, bro it's just i don't know it's, why it's gonna be it's gonna be over it all that it, all it's really gonna take is for uh like a trend to happen yeah you know what i mean I, like I the think, same thing with the 340 yeah right nobody knew that it had it but and as soon as that worked crazy because the 340s is like it costs like almost double of this car not, yeah not, not, not really double it depends what kind of car you get just put it this way guys i got this car for a a killer deal i'm not gonna say the price just to leave that out to but yeah. i got it for a killer deal and there's 340 eyes that are selling for double and i'm like bro the the amount of the what you're getting for the the dollar that you're spending it doesn't make sense it to me compared to like something like this yeah exactly like you're getting everything that you want in here like luxury and fast that's yeah. all i wanted i've been telling them i want an luxury fast car yeah but i think it uh to, but I, to, I'll, to, I'll, to, I'll, <laughs> I'll, tell you, go ahead, go I'll tell you what though I do because now that I got two automatic cars even though that's DCT it's still automatic I do want a six speed still I'm right now. yeah I'm right. I, I miss driving six speed I started yeah. with the six speed I miss driving it yeah I, I don't know it's For just sure. nothing's like having full control of the car yeah no, like this true. is it's fast but it's doing everything for you all I have to do is press the gas yeah well, that's that, don't get me wrong it, it goes back to being you know it's a daily that's all you want right like, yeah but so. you know they don't really stay daily as long but what basically what i was going to say earlier is um to to give the direct opposite or like the technically would be like the dichotomy of that right like obviously we're saying like who would who wouldn't want this car over like a 340 right because luxury and it's fast but i guess it's yes yeah, there's more people who want something that feels sporty or like once like smaller, that analog yeah, or smaller trim, or the weight race you know yeah like then you go to the 240s and yeah if you're talking about three fours two forties are even worse you're not yeah, even a tiny car i know that car's like a freaking rocket yeah don't, don't so get me small. wrong it's like the weight to power ratio is there it's, yeah but that's like, crazy. when you compare an m240i or whatever 240i m240i yeah. to an m2 it's two completely different cars yeah. when you compare this car to an m5 it's not that different yeah it, yeah the front the front fenders are 15 millimeters wider has a different front bumper and you could get the ccbs which are the karmic ceramic, karmic yeah. ceramic brakes i actually saw one the but you're paying too. you're spending like sixty thousand dollars more yeah and this could get this is just as fast as the m5 yeah yeah different motor same but interior same bro. potential i mean yeah. obviously the seats say m5 the seats yeah. look a little different but yeah. the difference between a like a m5 to a 540i is not that much different it's a v8 right yeah it's yeah, a twin turbo, twin turbo but it's i'm pretty sure it's the same potential yeah no it has the same i mean not, same thing with better. the m5 you tune in it gets crazy same thing yeah. right? you know any m car they're not yeah just gonna, nowadays yeah, yeah like, freaking. it's just crazy now just like the anything with the what is it s55 or no is it what's the uh, motor? s65 s55 58 
No. <laughs> X, the S, I don't know, bro. But no, that's in the new uh, the G80s. I'm talking about G80s. Oh, it's the like, S, S, X6, S68, I think. Yeah, something. If Maybe. it ends in an eight, it's fast. Could, I could be Put wrong it that way. It. Yeah. If it ends in an eight, it's fast. Yeah. So it's just crazy because you remember, um, who said? I remember, I was watching a video and it. The, it used to be always GTRs were always the fastest thing on the road. Oh yeah. Now it's G80s. Oh yeah, but yeah. Now it's the BMWs. Yeah, for sure. BMWs. Not, and I don't know where Dodge is at. They're coming out with crazy cars from factories. <laughs> they're just too big. Yeah, yeah. Do Dodge is on a. They yeah. come from factory cool, but yeah. the potential. Potential is after. No, yeah, yeah. Out this true, world. True. That is that is an actual fact. Bro, like, cause you remember GTRs used to be like, oh the damn, don't mess thing, with that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yep. Now that now don't even if it says X Drive and it's a G80 or G82. Yeah. That's bro. That's facts. <laughs> I remember. Yeah. Like, I remember it's, that. It's crazy that you, when you think about it that way, it's like oh cool. Yeah. And it all goes back to I don't care about being the fastest. That's why I got a five series. If I cared about being the fastest, I would have got an M240i or I would have yeah. got a G80. But I didn't want to spend G80 money. Like yeah. I wanted something comfortable and fast. Still, this is I feel like it's a better bang for your buck. Totally, 100 percent, guys. Yeah. That car, I put it this way. It's like that car's for like straight track and canyon, and this car's for daily, comfortable and fast. Cause that car is not fast at all. Yeah, yeah. It's but it, it, I feel like I got two cars that, you know, touch two different things. Yeah, that's like, and I, I feel like that's the goal, especially when uh, you're starting off building the collection. Yeah, it's different when you have multiple like me, like five plus that do the same thing. Yeah, then, then it's, it's like, like okay, you can have which two one of the same. I, which one am I gonna drive? Like this yeah. one, I could drive for specific things. This one, I could drive for specific things. Whether that's as simple as a you know, let's go out on a date with some girl. I could drive this that yeah. car. It's a little too uncomfortable, you know. Then it's like, damn, this one got a bucket. Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, coils and stuff. Nah, it's just you know, if you don't understand, like yeah, a track-focused yeah. car, yeah. then you're not gonna understand the E92. Yeah. Roll cage, seat stiff. Yeah. This car is all the different thing. Like you could the, the take this car out. It. It's on E40. You know, if someone wants to mess around on the freeway, you can still have fun. That car, you get left behind. And we've yeah. seen it in the. When we were rolling, we did that rollout to uh, the Bay Yeah, area. yeah, yeah. Like, I couldn't keep up with nobody. It sounds cool, but I couldn't keep up with nobody. <laughs> like, if I had this car, I would be with everybody. I'm, a, I'm actually throwing, I, that was a video that we filmed, but I never posted because. So, perfect time to, like, add some Yeah, I'm a, I'm going to add clips in here right now. So. We have reached the night run. So, now we're just stuck, confused, trying to figure out where we're going. Got the M. You guys see it? Address the elephant in the room. I'll, I'm only gonna say it because I know they're gonna see it because of the video. Your headlights. So you want to tell them what happened? I don't know I, what happened. I know. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. The the lenses. The lens thing, I know you guys uh, gonna you're yeah. gonna see it. So we're just gonna address the so elephant in the room. It was supposed to be something I was supposed to buy. Like that was like the next thing on the list. But then this came up. <laughs> yeah. Two completely different prices. But I couldn't pass this up. Not saying that's not gonna get done yet. But long story short, I don't know what exactly happened. But I think the bulb inside that lens is what melted that so if you get closer yeah, show it's, them a close -up. it's kind of crazy it's like melted honest. so as you can see it's melted so it melted the tab off and that's the reason why it fell off but so then it's crazy because it happened this one this one is that happened the, the second day i had the car yeah the, this one happened first right you bought so it as you guys then. can see that's not the only thing wrong the whole lens needed to be relaxed and that's when i was like i'm just gonna get new headlights yeah so i either go with bay optics or there's some other guy down the street that does headlights but it's definitely on the list for this car next. Like I don't plan on doing nothing to this car until I do headlights. 
but then it's like now I got a turbo on the list. Now yeah. I got a fuel pump on the list. And it's expensive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then like headlights, they still work, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they yeah. still work. It looks ugly. I know once I change these headlights, it's gonna make it look a lot better. Oh, for lot sure. Better. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because everything looks like clean on this car, but the headlights. Yeah, it's 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 one of those things. Like, for example. When have you ever seen yeah, or heard of this happening? You know, no other E92 that so we've seen. it's one of those just inconvenient things. It is what it is. Um, yeah, so you just got to throw your hands up when you know. It's one I of those almost want to just buy stock lights, just like that guy. That yeah, that yeah, guy. yeah. It's I mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't look bad. New yeah. headlights, bro. I don't know if you guys know, but new headlights are like two thousand. Like yeah, and 1500, if 2000. Yeah. And if you don't have headlights yourself, it's like it gets up to like oh, four thousand. You're, you're talking about through Bay Optics. Yeah, huh? yeah. yeah. So if you don't have something like a core exchange, then it gets to like four thousand. And mm, yeah, for headlights, four thousand dollars for these headlights. Turn on, bro. and I can still see it. Now. Yeah, that's <laughs> to give you an to put that in perspective. Isn't a full set of TEs like four or five thousand? Exactly. Yeah. And it, that's no. crazy. Uh, if, especially if you find some, I've seen all, some on Facebook Marketplace right now. Already powder coated, uh, triple chrome or what a dip, whatever they. Yeah, call and he's it. talking. He's talking about uh, TEs, guys. By the way. Yeah. So yeah. like, if, if headlights are in front of me or TEs? triple chrome TEs yeah. for this car, I'm gonna take the TEs, bro. Yeah. And luckily, crazy. this car. I, I, I told Rob, no matter car, what car I bought, I almost bought a Grandpa car, <laughs> like a Grandpa Five Series, no impact, no nothing. I'm yeah. telling you guys, I looked at least, at least ten at least 10 5 series cars and up to the 10th one is when i finally pulled the trigger and it's because i really didn't need the car i wanted the car yeah. which made the process a lot better because as you know you're excited and everything but then you could still like take a step back oh, i don't need the car let yeah. me wait for the right deal and that's yeah. exactly what i did with this car yeah as soon as i seen this car and he was like ah oh, we we're fighting over a thousand dollars i was like you know what bro here yeah. like, it's not really not worth it somebody else is gonna get the car and then you're asked out once you know it's the right car you'll know yeah and that's when sure. i felt with this yeah like, I, I don't have to touch the car at all cosmetically like, yeah. i could actually just do turbo and fuel pump because Robert was telling me, like, no, you got to at least lower it. Yeah, at I least. Got a car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already got a car that already looks, you know. Lower it and look, yeah. Pristine, you know? Yeah, like, it, I, I would say this is a sleeper. I would say it fits the category. Yeah, like, it, everything's factory still. Yeah. It's just lowered. Yeah. Literally, what? stock wheels. Stock everything. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> so, the difference between, so, if you didn't have the impact package, right, I think was what makes bumper, this different. Different yeah. front bumper. Different front bumper. Different side skirts. Different rear bumper. Different yeah. wheels, different brakes, so it's a lot of things. Yeah. So you know, it's. Um, I really, I really like the rear end because the, the the we're gonna call it the valence. Oh, and the quad tips. The, yeah, the valence is uh, gloss black, and then the quad tips exactly. So it fits the hole perfectly. As they did like the delete, they also changed the tips, and it, yeah, it looks perfect. It just like yeah, completes, it, it completes the rear end. Can't see because of uh, the yeah, contrast. So it's kind of dark, but later on, I'm gonna get the newer. Uh, 540i I would ex try to explain to you what tail lights, but yeah, you guys would uh, You would have to see another one, yeah. to be honest. All right, go ahead and start it. Let's see. Uh, let's, let's hear it. Let's it is loud. So that's B58, guys. That's why I wanted it. Downpipe, no muffler, right? Downpipe, no muffler, probably just resonated. So has resonated, and the intake, yeah. which makes the turbo louder. But, all, right. all right, let's go for a ride. Ready? Let's do it. Honestly, the car is pretty quick, as you guys can imagine. Now we don't know, or I should say, he doesn't know like exact the numbers. exact numbers that the car makes. But I'm I'm putting money on that it's probably around like 450. 450. Yeah, I would say 450. Yeah, because I know you could probably get like a close to 500. But something off the shelf is not going to get you there. You can need a custom tune to get 500 with these mods. Um, yeah. Especially on E40 because I can run e full 85, but they say it makes it slower. Yeah, I was going to bring that some up. Some yeah. people say E50 is better, E60. But it seems like the majority of people are say E40, so I stuck with E40. Yeah. E40. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was spinning. <laughs> right away. So I put tire shine on, so it's going to make it a little worse. And it's super cold, so we got to get the tires. It's pretty cold. And these tires ain't nothing special. They're just Falcons, no R compound, no none of that. So Ugh. maybe eventually I will have to get a sticker tire. Not eventually, I will have to. Because 650 horsepower, 
there's no point in having that power if you can't put it down. Yeah, exactly. Oh, shaman's spin again. Oh, wait, let me turn off traction for try. It's off now. Oh, shoot! <laughs> I almost lost my camera. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, that's funny too. That's another thing. Like, that was at like 5,000 RPMs. The car is super quiet for it to be just staying there. Imagine yeah. like the ST, the Z, oh, yeah. the E92. If you're staying at 5,000 RPMs, waiting to turn traction control off, screaming. you're screaming. Screaming. <laughs> I don't know if you guys probably won't be able to hear that, but it was legit like spinning. No, yeah, yeah. You can hear it too. Yeah. You hear the tires chirp. Mm. It's so smooth that you don't really yeah. notice. Until you hit a bump, then you're like, oh, oh, <laughs> that was nasty. Yeah. Oh, shit, I don't even know where I'm at to be honest with you. Yeah, we in the cuts. So something that you guys don't know about because I haven't talked about and I'll probably talk about more once we get our new car, but as I continue to say in almost every video, we are adding a new car to the channel pretty soon, right? Now what I will say is <clears throat> for a split and it was actually before he got this car, and I don't know if I told you this or not, but one of the cars that I was looking at was a Mark V Supra that comes with the B58 in it, right? That's a gen two. Yeah, I was I was actually Thinking about buying one, I, I, as it. as to if it's on a list still or not, I I cannot confirm or deny that. But it was an option at one point, and might still be. Entertaining I don't know. the option. Bro. We'll see. Yeah, uh, but uh, you can't go wrong with either. So. I don't know. The only reason why I wouldn't. And, and I think I have a fair uh, opinion of that now yeah. that I got. Yeah, because you have a the yeah, yeah, But true. the only reason why that I the only argument against that car is it's small. I've, yeah. I've driven one, I've driven two actually. I've driven a tuned one. Right, they're really fast. Really, really, really. And this was back when B58s were still new. People were still like discovering like what they're capable of. Yeah. And um, yeah, they're really fast. The only thing is that car is like really small. I'll tell you what. It's the only thing. Not even regarding how small the car is. I think in your situation, you're better off going with the other car just because it goes back to it'll touch stuff that you haven't touched before in it. Your okay, yeah. Cars. Yeah, yeah, no, you're you know right. What I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you get a yeah, Supra. Right. You're just gonna be fast three times. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know what true. I mean? Yeah. Like you're just going straight fast. You know, it's cool. Don't get me wrong, but you yeah. know, you want to experience something else because then it gets old. Then you know. Maybe that's true. Yeah, that's true. I yeah. feel like you're right about that. you go farther with the other car. Yeah. Definitely. And just the presence it has, I feel it just has that that <laughs> the respect, right? Yeah, it's funny because you guys are probably like, "What car is it?" Yeah, no. <laughs> You, I'm not gonna see. give out no clues, but yeah, I yeah. think I got a fair opinion. Yeah. So I'm sure as you guys know, B58s aren't like loud, loud engines. Like they're not really loud until you really like get on them. I'm not really too sure when you like start uh, adding like a single turbo and like you get like an exhaust and stuff. I'm not really sure how they sound from that aspect, but we're just talking about stock ones. Right, so we're gonna do a flyby and you guys are gonna get an idea of what this car sounds like. That sounds good, bro. That sounds good. Hopefully nobody calls the cops. Hopefully. All right, what do you guys think? You guys like the way it sounds? Oh, let's actually get some uh, intake. You can literally hear it right there. That's crazy. Pretty loud, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, and this video is coming to an end. It is time to pull it back in. So this is gonna be the E92. Let me go ahead and give you guys, this is gonna be a semi-cold start. I'm gonna place you guys out here. Yeah, we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a, uh, a little start for you guys so you guys can hear the beautiful sound that this car has.
Uh, that sounds absolutely amazing. Now I had to go a little easy. I can't go too crazy because we didn't really drive this car. It it didn't really get the proper warm up, right? And you guys know these cars rod bearing, so I didn't really go too crazy. And it's not my car, but you get the idea. This car sounds so good, dog. So freaking good. Whoa. Who knew I would make it this far? They hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball. I know I make it look easy. Yeah, Mayweather with the defense. I don't care what a critic got to say. I got him picking up the pieces. Out of me, you really playing with your life. I'm about to come and run it all back. I'm the new era, about to snap back. You ain't fitting for it.